Egypt's western desert remains littered with mines and unexploded munitions, the deadly remnants of heavy fighting during the Second World War. The Egyptian armed forces estimate around 20 million mines and unexploded bombs are still buried beneath the sand. The munitions pose a significant risk to local communities. The European Union is now involved in assisting the Egyptian government and others with the clean-up. Working uh, with uh, the UN, uh, the government and the army. And it's also helping, I think, uh, to meet uh, a responsibility, uh, not just for development of Egypt, but also, if you will, an historical responsibility on the part of um, the combatants uh, in the Second World War to do everything that we can to help the country uh, uh, fully recover. The bulk of the unexploded ordnance is in and around the town of El Alamein, the scene of two major battles between Allied and Axis forces in 1942. Winston Churchill famously said of El Alamein, now this is not the end, it's not even the beginning of the end, but it is, perhaps, the end of the beginning. Still, the town is under threat. The British government uh, takes this issue of mine clearance very seriously because the, the mines here in El Alamein and Matroja are one of the deadly legacies of the Second World War, which uh, is still killing people today. But I'm optimistic that, and I'm hopeful that with the right partnership, we can start to solve the problem. According to UN figures, over 8,000 people have been killed or injured by the explosives. What is more, thousands of square kilometres of Egyptian territory remain off-limits. Our correspondent in the western desert says... Despite the end of the Second World War, the mines remain and the fatalities continue. These munitions are proving an obstacle to the development of large tracts of Egyptian land.